Hi, I'm John Yemma. I'm editor of the Christian Science Monitor, and we're here in the Monitor newsroom where we're talking with Peter Greer, who's a veteran Washington correspondent for the Monitor, and who's done the cover story in the premier issue of our new weekly. Uh, he's focusing on ways in which uh, Americans are rebuilding their economy, the world is rebuilding its economy, and how your life will be different. And so uh, I'm going to turn to Peter right now, and uh, we talk a little bit about what you found out, especially the kind of the high points in that in your uh, research. I mean, was there was there one particular thing that really surprised you? Just really how central the United States economy still is to the rest of the world. We hear a lot about China, the rise of China. They're growing tremendously fast over there. You know, an average of ten percent a year. But the U.S. economy is bigger than the next four economies put together. Hmm. You know, we're still four times bigger than China. We still manufacture more stuff in America than they make in China. And on a street level, on a sort of a, the things you look, you feel, and you, you see when you walk around a city, I think you were, you were pointing out that uh, in a mall, for instance, the new, the kind of the new sign of the times is going to be the for lease sign. Um, is that, do you think that's something that, you know, is going to be here for a while? Well, you know, we have too many stores. I mean, it w uh, uh, and there's going to be 15 to 30 percent fewer stores in America, and there's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of those signs, as you say, you know, that, that say for lease, kind of kind of like in uh, uh, the Emperor said in the movie about Mozart. There were too many notes in that. It's, you know, we have too many stores. Now, I, I recall you came to Washington back during the Carter administration, and so. Um, you saw this big recession that went on in the early late 1970s, mm -hmm. early 1980s, when interest mm -hmm. rates rose. And th does this one feel different to you? This one feels very different. Um, if you think back to say the the recession in the early 1980s, when when Reagan took office, that was fairly grim too, mm -hmm. and it shaped. I know it shaped my own thinking about what I was going to do in terms of personal spending and and for work. And if th you think about that, think what that's doing to kids and to young people today. I mean, they're growing up suddenly in an environment that's much more constrained. It's quite likely they're going to carry that behavior through into their uh, uh, near adult lives. Mm. And if you look back in history, um, in, uh, some of the greatest plutocrats in America were raised in fairly straightened times, like John D. Rockefeller, for mm. instance, always took the lesson, you know, that you have to earn every dollar with him. And to a certain extent, he used that to power his rise. That that kind of person is probably learning that lesson uh, uh, today. In the middle of hard times, there must be things that are sprouting. There must be things that are interesting. In past recessions, what came out of those that uh, you know kind of went on to determine what what was the growth area? That's that's a good question. In 1870, for instance, after the Panic of 1870, America gradually became an exporting nation. They were the China of their time, and they uh, canned fruit, uh, kerosene, those exports really helped power the U.S. out of recession. Canned fruit was huge. Somewhere in America today, someone is, in essence, working on the canned fruit of the future, the thing that will help pull us out of the economy, uh, pull us out of the recession this I time. guess it's true that everybody wants to see a, a green economy, a sort of a more energy efficient economy, and that's something that the Obama administration is really talking about pushing right now. That's true, and a lot of people think that that could be, in essence, the canned fruit of the future. Th that's possible. It's also possible that it might not be. I think you need to think about those jobs on their merits. I mean, we need a greener economy because we need a greener world. Thanks very much, Peter. Thank you.